Now let's try and understand the advantages of the index number. As far as the advantages are concerned, it gives us a complete knowledge of the change of the value of money. For example, you must have heard your grandparents say that in their time, rupees 500 as a salary was a very big amount. But today, there are people who draw 5 lakh rupees as salary and still they feel it is insufficient. Thus, this change in the value of money can be completely understood by the index number. Next is the knowledge about the standard of living. Now here, when people start getting higher salaries, it does not mean that it increases the standard of living of the people. A person who was drawing 5000 rupees as salary and today if he gets 20,000 rupees as a salary shows a marginal or great increase in the salary but this does not ensure change in the standard of living of that person because the prices have risen, the inflation has occurred and that 5000 has now become 20,000 as such. The salaries and allowances of the people can be determined, can be fixed, can be increased accordingly on the basis of the index number. You see the dearness allowance which is announced by the government twice a year is based on the information which is provided by the index number. Next is the business community finds index number as a great knowledge or source of knowledge because it is through this that they can formulate their policies for the coming fiscal years. They know that this is going to be in this way. There is going to be an increase or decrease and what are the trends and so on. The next is that the production of the country can also be based on the index number. You know for example that the production was these many tons and the consumption was those many tons. So whether there is more need of production or the production was suffice or it was much more than the demand that we had. So the basis of production can be best understood by referring to the index number.